Hey guys, this is Karam Rani from Mobi Scrub and in this video I'm going to take you through top 10 apps uh, for the month of September which would really make your life easier and definitely make you want to use your phone even more. The first one that I want to show you is called S Converter. Uh, just as the name suggests, it's basically a converter app. It, it changes uh, one unit to the other, so grams to kilograms or, or uh, you know, pounds, whatever. So you, you just key in one field and all of the others get populated automatically and not just, not just mass. Anything, length, pressure, speed, uh, even currency. Uh, so let me just take you through a couple of them. So if you go into currency, the best part is the app automatically uh, updates the the conversion rates. So if you can, if you put in you know the one US dollar, it automatically shows what it show you know what it means in other currencies. Uh, this is the dark theme that I'm using. You can change it to uh, the light theme as well. And again, you know you've got. Just, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, you've got different colors, uh, the Android L material design, as you can see, at its best. The second app that also follows the Android L material design is called MindFlux. It's basically a organizer. So you've got, uh, you know, to-do tasks. You can add notes, uh, checklists, add uh, alarms and notifications, uh, create a schedule of your own. So, you know, we've got a couple of uh, things that you can do. And as you can see, it again follows that really beautiful looking uh, uh, Android L design. So you've got your different calendar views. You can create a task for a specific time of your day uh, in the entire month. Uh, and, you know, you can sync it with your calendars uh, either on Gmail or on, uh, you know, PC. So you've got multiple options available here. Uh, so again, you can you can select what calendars to display here. You can integrate with other calendars as well and create schedules. Uh, in tasks, you've got to-dos, you've got tasks in progress and tasks that you've all, all already accomplished. You can create your tasks and you can also create subtasks. And as you can see, the colors kind of change from blue to yellow to red. And of course, you can set your own alarms as well. Another app that gives you a little preview of what Android L would look like is called Heads Up Notification. Uh, basically, whatever app you're in and you get a notification, you get this really nice pop-out. You can tap on it to open it or slide it to dismiss it. It's been given a rating of 4.5 on Play Store and people are really happy about it. So whether you're on your lock screens, uh, you know, or your, uh, you, can, you can move them around, whether it's on the top or at the bottom, just tap on it and it opens uh, whatever the notification is for. And you can choose to mute these notifications for certain apps. For example, when you're playing a game, you don't want these notifications to come, right? But you know, as you can see, I was going through a, my Twitter feed and just this WhatsApp message came. I could dismiss it or I could see it. It's, it's totally up to me and uh, it's really nice. The next one's called Call Popout. And as you can see, while I'm reading Twitter uh, and I get a call from my mother, uh, I can choose to pick up the call or you know disconnect it or whatever. So it's totally up to me. Uh, and it doesn't hamper my experience uh, of using the app. So there's the, the name of the person and I get options to kind of disconnect the call or connect it. The fourth one is called Atlas. It's, it's a web browser, uh, just like Google Chrome. So if you're not too hooked on Google Chrome, you definitely should try this out. It's a really neat, uh, clean looking app and gives you certain options uh, while browsing the web. So you can choose from whether you want a mobile only experience or a desktop experience, uh, and you can choose how much content to be displayed uh, depending on what kind of a site you are on. So let's, you know, I'm on mobiscrub.com and I decide, uh, you know, a couple of things. Right now it's on desktop version. I could change that. Uh, I could change to text only. So now it reloads the page for text only version. So it's, of course it's faster, right? I don't, I don't need to see the images. I just need to look at content. Uh, as you can see, it's not fitting too well. Uh, the content is kind of just all over the place. But that's because it's the desktop version. If I, if I switch to mobile, and as you can see on the top, there's a loading progress bar telling you how much you've kind of loaded and, and fits perfect. There are a bunch of other options as well. Uh, so again, you know, the browser gives you a lot of capabilities to kind of uh, tweak things around. The fifth app is called Cabinet File Manager. It's in beta version, but then I guess you can totally use it. Uh, it's a file manager, uh, but a really good looking one. It follows the same Android L design that I've been talking about. You've got a couple of pinned folders. So folders that you always want to go in, you can just pin them right there. Uh, you know, it's really nice and simple to use. As you can see, there's just not too much around. Uh, let's say I want to pin agent folder onto, the, onto that place. So I can just go and say, uh, pin and then it just appears right there at the bottom and if I want to remove it from there I just have to long tap and then say yes. 
It's definitely not like ES File Explorer that gives you a lot of options, but just if you want to browse files, copy paste, you know, move them from one place to the other, I think it's a brilliant app, uh, very good looking, and you can change the theme to the dark theme as well. On number six, I've got Android Neto. Uh, it basically helps you secure files that you don't want others to see. Uh, you know, you just set up your name and a pin, a pin, basically a password, and you're all set. Then you can start adding files. Uh, there are two ways uh, to encrypt files. One is, uh, you know, a more secure way, and the other one is a less secure way but faster. So let's say I was to pick up two and a couple of more files, and I could, I, I'll just tap on that lock button. It's going to take a while, like maybe three, four, five seconds, depending on how many files are there, and then files hidden successfully. Or I could just select them and tap on the flash, the speed flash icon, and as you'll see, it'll happen a lot faster. There you go. That's it. It's done. And then, you know, you can go back into files and see how many of of those you've hidden, and they're only there. No one else can see these files. Uh, So it's really nice, and you can restore them, unlock them. Uh, of course, you've got all of that. Just a word of caution, when you hide them and if you uninstall the app, all of those files are deleted. So please make sure that you uh, unhide all the files before removing this app. All right. The seventh one is called Pocket Lock. It's a really nice little trick. It uses your gyroscope sensor and your accelerometer to configure uh, auto lock on your phone. So, you know, when you, you can just put it in your pocket and it locks and when you take it out of your pocket, it unlocks the screen. So you don't really have to press that button every time. You can set, you can actually tweak uh, things around to make it re- more responsive. Uh, of course, I use both sensors, but you could just use the proximity sensor or the, or the, uh, the gravity sensor, but it's going to use both, and that's the best way. Even when you keep something on the desk, your, your phone on the desk, it unlocks and locks automatically. So I think it's just, it just saves you from pressing that unlock lock button 1,000 times a day. The second last app in the video I want to talk about is called Wonderlist. It's not a new app, it's been around for a while, but it just got a major update and it's really gotten powerful. So basically you can create simple lists that you can share with people uh, and you can be notified when you know activities happen around that list. So let's say I create a list and I, I, I want to share it with a couple of people and I do it using email, of course. Uh, I can create a bunch of lists, I can move them around. So, you know, for example, te- uh, you know, my shopping list or uh, movies to watch or whatever. You, can, you have a bunch of customization options uh, depending on your mood. And, uh, of course, you can set reminders, notifications, alarms, all of that. You know, what kind of alarms, the, 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 the tune that you want or the sound that you want, all of that is there. I'm not even going to get into it. But the really good thing is that there's an activity center. So if there's some activity around a list that you're sharing with friends, you'll be notified. Or if there are some conversations that need to happen around that list, you can have that too. So it depends on how many people you're sharing a particular list with. The last one is called Blinkboard, and it's, 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 it's really just an app for all you social media freaks out there. Uh, if you're on Facebook, Twitter, uh, check your email very often, get a lot of text messages. Basically, you're on the phone 24-7 doing these things. I think Blinkboard is wonderful. It's just a little widget that resides on your home screen. You can, you can of course, maximize it. And it just gives you a list of all uh, unread notifications on your screen right there. So you just got to log into all of them uh, at at setup and you're all set. So these were the top 10 apps for the month of September. Hope you really liked it. A bunch of Android L material design apps out there. And I'm going to talk more about them uh, in the next issue of my top 10 apps. Thank you for watching, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up for sure.